Orange is the complimentary black. Kim Kardashian makes yet another statement look in a figure hugging knit dress as she prepares to leave Paris following the Balenciaga fashion show. Paris Fashion Week has whizzed her to new and bizarre sartorial heights. And Kim Kardashian, who caught the eye on Sunday in a head to toe shipping tape catsuit for the anticipated Balenciaga show, ensured her exit from the runway was just as prominent as her arrival as she slipped into a figure hugging knit dress. The global superstar, 41, further ensured she would not be lost in the crowd by complimenting the full-length, roll-neck ensemble with a garish orange shawl, which was ruffled in style and strewn off her shoulders. While the vibrant accessory may have snatched attention, the American media personality kept other elements of her look laid back, as she framed her made-up face with classic shades. The socialite, a frequent face of Balenciaga, opted for a sleek coiffure whereby her raven tresses were slicked back from her face. Earlier on Sunday, Kim opted for a distinctive skin-tight catsuit from the Spanish-French label, which drew attention to her famous curves as she posed for photos before making her way inside. Kim's head-to-toe look was accentuated with a matching handbag, while heavily tinted sunglasses completed the outlandish ensemble. The striking looks come after the now legally single starlet is reported to be furious over Kanye West's Easy Music video, which shows the rapper seemingly burying her Bo Pete Davidson alive. Last week, Kanye, 44, shared the bizarre new music video, where a clay animated version of Kanye kidnapped a claymation Pete and threw a bag over his head before tying him up and throwing him on the back of an all terrain vehicle. The cartoon Kanye then buried Pete alive keeping his head above the dirt and growing roses on it. The Gold Digger hitmaker ended the clip with a direct message to the Saturday Night Live star, everyone lived happily ever after, except Skeet before crossing out the name and writing, you know who. Kanye continually refers to Pete as Skeet as a disparaging nickname, though the meaning of moniker remains unclear. A source told People on Friday, she's really upset with Kanye that he do this. She's completely over all of this and she wants it to stop. People's source also claimed that Kim cannot grasp how her strange husband can create violent content for all to see but make a fuss about their daughter North, 8, having a TikTok account. He previously voiced that North was on the app against, his, will. Kim, doesn't understand how Kanye can get upset about North being on TikTok yet he can put out these kinds of videos. It makes no sense to her, the source explained. Regardless of the drama, the insider stressed that the Skims founder's number one concern right now is making sure that her children are protected from the situation because everything plays out in the public eye and that's very difficult when there are children involved. She is very angry about the violence and she just feels that it's inappropriate and wrong. She shares North, as well as Chicago, 4, Saint, 6, and Psalm. Too, with Kanye. Kim subtly supported her Bo Pete soon after the release of West's disturbing music video by liking a post made by filmmaker James Gunn. The 55 year old The Suicide Squad director, who directed Pete in the DC film released in 2021, seemingly injected himself into the fray with a tweet calling the SNL star one of the nicest, sweetest guy. Kim proceeded to click like on the complimentary social media post which added that the Staten Island native was a respectful and truly generous, tender and funny spirit. The Keeping Up With The Kardashians star began dating Pete after she hosted SNL on October 9. Just one day after Kanye released Easy, Kim was declared legally single by a judge, a move vehemently opposed by the rapper, on Wednesday. Judge Steve Cochran also granted her request to have her maiden name restored, and he denied West's motion to prevent Kim from transferring assets out of trusts set up during the marriage. The feuding couple, both billionaires, had their high-powered attorneys in court Wednesday, Laura Wasser for Kim and Samantha Spector for Kanye. Spector was only appointed Tuesday night after West fired his previous lawyer which was his fourth. Kim has since removed West from all of her social media handles, including her Instagram account that boasts nearly 290 million followers.
account. He previously voiced that North was on the app against his will. Kim doesn't understand how Kanye can get upset about North being on TikTok yet he can put out these kinds of videos. It makes no sense to her, the source explained. Regardless of the drama, the insider stressed that the scheme's founder's number one concern right now is making sure that her children are protected from the situation because everything plays out in the public eye and that's very difficult when there are children involved. She is very angry about the violence and she just feels that it's inappropriate and wrong. She shares North, as well as Chicago, for